So let us see what we mean by slope in line. Slope of a line. Basically, slope ka matlab hai chadiya hota hai. You see how much it is inclined with x-axis. Here reference is x-axis. How much it is inclined with x-axis gives you slope. In simple word slope matlab chadiya hota hai. Your slope horizontal line horizontal there be that there won't be slope. Inclination is zero. So slope will be zero. Now, so what do you mean by positive direction of x-axis? This is called zero reference. How much angle it makes with the x-axis in anti-clockwise direction? That gives you good slope. So we measure angle from, from here. Zero is the time. That gives you theta and inclination in short. Then slope m is given by n. Okay, that gives you slope of a line. Now, even though slopes are same, there are two formulae. One is tan theta, the second is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x2. How come slope are same and formula are different? Actually, they look like different, but they are not different. They are all same. I'll show you how it is. Here, slope is given by tan theta. Here also, slope is given by tan theta. But they are given in terms of coordinates, like uh, y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Basically, this y2 minus y1 is nothing but opposite side. Opposite side. And x2 minus x1 is nothing but adjacent side. From your school days, you know what is opposite side upon adjacent side. That is tan theta. So basically, they are same. Now, how they are different? See here, they give you inclination. How much line is inclined with x axis? Then you find slope by tan theta. Here, they don't give you inclination. They give you coordinates of P and Q. And in this figure, if you see properly, P is given as x1, y1, and Q is given as x2, y2. <laughs> what it means is, if I say Q is x2, y2, distance of Q from y axis is nothing but x coordinate, that is x2. And distance of Q from x axis is nothing but y2, that is x, y coordinate. Now, if you talk about uh, point P, its coordinates are x1, y1. So distance of P from Y axis, that is length PD is X1 and distance of P from X axis is nothing but Y1. So basically you get Y2 minus Y1. If you see properly Y2 minus Y1, if I do, I'll get length QC. This is your Y2 minus Y1. And if you talk about this length uh, PC, is nothing but X2 is total length minus X1. So this length is X2 minus X1 which is nothing but adjacent side. So, what we get so 